Hi YouTube! I haven't rehearsed this, I probably should have, but oh well. Well, if I screw up, I might retake it. Anyway, I'm gonna just show some stuff right now that I've gotten while I've been out. Most of this stuff comes from the Dollar Tree to let you know. Most of it. Um, first I'm gonna show you, I got my selfie stick. Yeah, a selfie stick. Finally got me self one. And um, I mostly only got it for the top part. Even if so you can screw your cell phone into a tripod. Or so you can attach one to a tripod. Yeah, right. Um, I was thinking how would it work, but it does. Uh, you know it clamps onto the phone. This part though, although I'm not using a cell phone right now, you might think I am. I'm not using a cell phone. I'm using an actual camera that sucks at focusing, even in 1080p. This part extends and bends. Um, it's not the cool kind with, you know, the, um, what do you call it, the, like the button, you know, where you can do it wirelessly. It doesn't have that cool feature. Well, what do you get for a dollar? Literally one dollar for this. Those kind cost more. I think I have another one somewhere that has that button. Um, I also got this thing. It's a laser. You can see it's a laser. I'm not trying to point at me, but you can kind of see it's a laser. Um... And it's also a flashlight. You can see it's a flashlight. And it's also got like one of these styluses, you know, you connect with your iPhone or Android phone or whatever. Yeah, just, um, I still feel like those should use a normal stylus like a DS does. Because I'd rather use my finger than use one of these things. The point of the stylus is to thin out my finger. Oh well. Um, another thing I got is this horseshoe magnet. Um, it just says magnet. Um, they had it there at the Dollar Tree. I know it still has a tag on it. I'll take it off if I feel like it. I have to like leaving that kind of stuff on. You know, it's one of those cheap kind. It's not got any licensing, but it could be legally sold because it's not branded to anything. There's no licensing to any show or anything. It's just generic. It has that right there. And as um, I tested it, like, look, I'll show you with my laser. It kind of sticks. So, like, look, yeah, it kind of sticks to the laser there and there because it's just metal. It's not a magnet. Um, next thing, I finally got myself a coin bag. I was thinking, how's there a way to carry your change around with you? It's like my wallet. I'm not going to pause right now. Maybe I'll pause in the future. My wallet is, um, I'm not going to open it because I show some stuff. Uh, my wallet cannot really carry coins because if you tip it over, they dump out. Coin bag, though, it can lock and put your coins in it. And this one is also from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells wondrous things for what their price is. Um, next thing to show. Um, here's this thing. This um, thing from the Dollar Tree as well. I've never seen building blocks for the Dollar Tree. They're self-locking building blocks. Um, so I got this. I was like, ooh, that's cool. They had other stuff there. They had, um, I think they had um, a police car as well. I just chose this. And yes, it's it says fire deep depth. Deep depth. Is that short for depot? I guess. Depot. Uh, whatever. It's, uh, it says compatible with other leading brands. I don't think the word Lego is said anywhere in the box. I won't bother checking right now. CK Brands, and I think it did have like a copyright. Yeah, you probably won't see it. Because I'm no expert filmer. I'm no expert filmer. But you may see it that it has a copyright thing. Right on the second line where it has 2015. You can kind of see it. I can sort of see it on the video. I'm kind of sitting sideways to the camera as you, I film this. Um, I'm going to do a speed build of this, the speed build. Um, I just need to set up my time-lapse camera to do the speed build. And it says age of 6 plus, and um, yeah, I need to zoom out, don't I? Yeah, I zoomed in way too far. Did I zoom in? Okay, um, speed build. Well, here's the set. I'm zoomed in far in, but um, here's the set in its entirety of 27 pieces. Yeah, 27 pieces. And it's small. Like, look, it's in my hand. It's pretty small. It's uh, it's bigger than, like, say, um, a die-cast car, Hot Wheels or something. I'm saying brand names all I want you people who think I have to get paid just because of the brands of my video. Oh, no, we're not getting paid, so we're going to have to blur out the product. Um, that's what I think. Anyway, yes, back to this. It's bigger than a Hot Wheels car, and it's got wheels on it. It's got wheels. They move. They're not, they don't got, like, tires on them. They're like the tires, and they feel a lot like Hot Wheels axles, although they're not really. They're similar. They're kind of, they like, they are they wobble on the axis. They're like, they're kind of, I need to zoom out a little bit. They kind of wobble a little bit. They're not as stiff as like the Lego ones, but this isn't Lego. This is my blocks. 
Is that my blokes? Uh, my blocks. I think that's an O. Um, it has this thing on the back. I don't know what that. Well, it's just a fire truck. And for of all things, they include a spare head for the minifigure. The spare head. No other spare pieces. The head. Like I don't even think Lego supplies spare minifigure heads. Like in any of their sets, I haven't built one for a while, but I don't think they do. Um, he's kind of weird shaped. Like look, it's kind of he has a uh, orange hat and um, yeah. So that, and he, I can't think you can tell on video. I'll try to make it look good. You can't tell on video, but he's like in a sitting down position. He has no arms. He has arms, but he's stuck in this sitting in a seat position because he's meant to be put in the fire. It's not a fire truck. I'll just call it a fire car because this thing is not, this thing is not going to be fighting fires anytime soon. I also got this at the Dollar Tree. This, um biplane thing. I think it's a biplane. It, could, it probably is. Um, various styles. Uh, I guess you could probably build it your own way. There isn't any bending, I think, in this one. I haven't built... This is built based on a Rector set. It's called Steel Mechanics. An Rector set, it's based on one of those. It's uh, Age of Six Plus, and I, it, uh, it needs a screwdriver to build it, which I have a screwdriver, but I feel like they should include one even if um, it would be... It, would it probably would be more than a dollar. It would cost too much to do that. What do you get for a dollar? Um, you probably can't see, but I'm gonna zoom it in if you trust can see, because this is like a far side away camera that needs to those. And um, yeah, you can see it's made in China. And over there it says 2015 and all the jumble of stuff you can see with the C copyright. Oh, and it's made by the same brand as the fire de depth, this fire depth thing that you see behind. Check out more styles. Um, I'm going to be building this and uh, doing this another speed build. Okay, I'm back, and I don't know if the speed build will be really long because it took me a long time to get this right. Because this thing, these Erector sets, I can't imagine building the bigger ones because these small ones are hard. And this plane took me a long time to figure it out. Um, I thought it would be like you could roll its wheels, but no, no, no rolling the wheels. It's not a rector set, it's steel steel mechanics. Um, like I like to build these way better because you don't have to use tools. These, I thought I needed a, a screwdriver of my own. Nope, they came with a screwdriver, great. It's tiny. I thought it was like, oh, that's way too sharp to fit into there, but nope, nope, nope. They fit in just fine. I build the whole thing using this thing if you see on the speed build. That's why I call them speed builds when I call them time lapses. That's a speed build. And it came with a little wrench. Um, boss. While I was out at the mall, I was given $12 to spend. I think it was $12. And one of the things I got was this Darth Vader cheat. One of the things I got was this Darth Vader keychain. Uh, yeah. Um, it's cool. Um, I'm going to take this off in the future. I'm going to take off the hanger. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Get that out of here. Keychain, yeah. Um, they don't come apart. Like you, you probably know what the keychain ones. They don't actually come apart. Probably because then they'd be taken apart at the store, and you'd find pieces everywhere. Um, he has this little thing. I'm gonna put it on my keys, which I don't have. Hi YouTube, I am finally back after not making this video for many, many months. It's been many, many months since I started lo uh, recording this little fiasco, and... Oh. Well, how about that? I thought I was missing a piece, but I wasn't. It just went under the, the instruction booklet. So I finished this chicken duck thing, probably a chicken because it's Easter. Even though it's yellow, I guess baby chickens are yellow. Um, so what happened is, should I talk about this right now? Yeah, I should. So you can skip to, I'll put a little annotation up saying when you should, where you should skip to if, um, it's annotation where you should skip to if this gets boring. Um, so my other camera, I'll show it to you finally, right here, got full, so I had to wait to go edit with it. It took me a very long time to edit because I because it was like ridiculous how big the file sizes were. But then I realized I can make it smaller, which you'll see that the videos won't look very good. But 
At least they, they're there. You should be lucky that you even have them. I'm gonna fix these while I talk about it. Um, so it took me a while, and then what happened is that actually it's, um, it's a little tape thing. Like, I was using DV tapes with it. The DV tape is broke, the DV tape uh, recorder is broken. But I got another DV tape camera to use as a converter, which I didn't get it for that purpose. I just had it lying around. So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll use that. And so that's what I did. I used that um, to record it. And so I was getting another memory stick, so that took me a while to wait for that to come in the mail as well, because you know packages take a long time when they're the cheap ones. Um, so I eventually got it working, and finally I got to finish building this ch chicken duck. Probably a chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna say that the whole video, aren't I? So skip to this point if you want to listen to the review. So I'm done um, building it, and I'm gonna talk about the things it does. This duck, its head moves, it spins in a full 360 degrees, and its, um, its wings, they move up and down. It just fell off of it. Ah, cheers. Um, its eyes don't move or anything. Its eyes don't move. Its, its uh, beak doesn't move. Um, its legs move in a circle, but they don't like move. Well, it has like no legs. Uh, its toes actually move. Look, its toes move. Chicken duck thing, it's yellow, and it doesn't say on the box. Look, I, I probably said this before, but it's been many months, as I said. It's been like two and a half months since I've actually been recording this, and you're gonna lose some of the footage of the um, speed build because um, it corrupted on the memory stick, so I had to delete it because I know to delete it because it wouldn't move, but it's like I wouldn't get it anyway, so I had, so I lost it. I'm sorry, you'll lose like, I don't know, like a third of what the speed build. Um, so this is the box, and it's open. As you can see, I didn't open it until I did the speed, started doing the speed build, I think. It's just that kind where you stick your thumb in, and you start pulling. And um, it came in multiple bags. Well, not numbered bags, though, because you wouldn't need numbered bags for something this small. Um, it's not any, uh, like, series or whatever. It's just, like, look, it doesn't say, cre it's not even, like, creator. It's just Lego. It's, it's supposed to be an Easter present, really, but I was given $15 to spend at the Lego store, so I just got this. And, um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, I got that. I'm not, I can't remember if I showed you. I'll show you right now. If, uh... Okay, I found it. Well, up. I'm gonna build this next, and I know it's smaller than the duck slash chicken, but, um... I just, I didn't, I forgot about it until I um, found it while lying around. I got this as a little present. And I will do a speed build of this little car. It's just a little car. You get these at like the checkout aisle at your, I don't know what you call it. Um, you know, retailer. That's what it's called, a retailer. You get these at like those little checkouts. Um, they're like, that's just $5. So I'm going to do a speed build of this. Before we get back to reviewing this set, there's something I missed in the other set. In the instructions, they actually advertise this little vampire. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's Dracula. Yeah, it could be. Anyway, um, I do not remember seeing this in the store. It might have been there. Uh, it's been a few months, so remember, I could forget a lot of things in a few months. But let's get on to this review of this set. Now, I know this... I want to look at the box. Um, before I start, I forgot to mention, this is a LEGO City set. It's not just a generic LEGO set. Well, LEGO's anything but generic. Generic LEGO. I'll not... And it has to be generic LEGO. Just generic, no. Anyway. So, they're actually are advertising these little sets right here. Um, I zoomed out? Yeah, I am. Uh, maybe if I zoom in. So you see right here, look, they advertise this set. I'm not sure if you can see it well, but it's like, I can't tell what that is. Well, I think that's like some, like, prison island or something. And then look, there's this little, like, this boat and set. And then there's this chase set right here. You can kind of see it. There's like a red and white car. And this set, I can't even tell what it is. Well, maybe if I look up close to it. Jesus, advertising for the sets are small. I think that's like a crane. You'll never see it. But trust, it's like a crane. And then the next one is like a little boat, which you cannot see. Well, I could kind of see it on the camera. If I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't see it. Um, let's go on to the actual set then because that's what we're here for, aren't we? Um, I know this is a little small thing, but I just love that this $5 set came with a little street light thing. You can probably see that it has like the red and blue, the not blue, green on it. Maybe I should do um, a fail reel, I don't care. So there's a red and green on it. 
And so yeah, and I can make it do a little thing where he drives up to it, stop, green, go. Oh yeah, and on to the car. I'm gonna take this little guy out. Yeah, no, I'll just review him while he's in it. Um, his hair comes off, as do I all do. Um, he has like a little gray shades for sunglasses, and his hands, you don't have to do with them like that, but they're uh, in front of the wheel. And um, this, the wheels on this car are really, really, they roll really well. Like, look, like he doesn't, they don't like stop immediately. They don't have friction. They roll really well. I can feel it. I wish you could feel how good this feels in the hand, but he goes on the ground really well. It feels like I could make a cool Lego road and he could go on it. Um, I've never seen these little um, pieces before, but they're like smooth and they're lights. And in driving, I know that these are brake lights. They turn, they light up when you're braking. Um, and also he has the yellow lights on the front. Of course these don't light up because this is not an electronic set. I don't think you get that for five dollars. Um, it's car is cool. It's um, it's bigger than a Hot Wheels car. I'll tell you that it's bigger than that, but not much bigger. Not much bigger than a Hot Wheels car. It um, let me think. Well, you can look at the Lego figure. You probably have a Lego figure of your own. Um, and also. Here's a playing card next to it. I just had these lying around. Kind of so you can see how it is. Thank you. Look, you can kind of look at that for size reference. Um, good thing I had those lying around next to me. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's this. There's a lot of spare. Look, um, I'm going to put these over. There's a lot of spare pieces for this being a $5 set, but there's this many spare pieces. Um, five spare pieces for this being a set of only 47 pieces. That's a lot. You might get that much in a big set. Um, I'm gonna do my next set. Wait for it. Look at this big set. It's not Lego, it's not Creo, it's Best Lock. And I'm gonna review the box before I do the speed build. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, I got it like two years ago. It's been like two years and I've never opened this. This might be ooh, expensive now. No, it's not been two. It's been like a year and a half since I got this. It's been a year and a half since I got this, so it could be rare by now, but I don't care. It's not Lego, so I'm not sh I'm not assuming that I could sell this for a lot. Like, no one's gonna be going online. I'm gonna look for Best Luck, yay! The set that only appeared in, like, grocery stores that you never talked about that ripped off Transformers, yay. Um, I th it's not a knockoff, I think. It might be a knockoff, because it has a little, um, you can see there's a little C right here. There's a little C, 2014. Yeah, I know it says 2014, but it was really like 2015 when I got it. Yeah, I never did a, did a speed build because I wasn't into making videos at the time. But um, 7 to 14 is the age, 214 pieces. And I'm not thinking this will be done in one speed build um, thing because my memory stick can't hold very much, only 16 minutes of movie. Well, that's the best I could get for that old camcorder. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a speed build. Um, you can just look at the back right here. So it's best lock, not Creo, even though it's Transformer ripoff. So here we go. Okay, I have not got a script for this, but I'll do my best. I've only got a few minutes left on this camera, so I'll do my best. So you see this guy right here? He's a little minifigure that came in the set, but it's weird. I don't know why, but it came with this guy too. They're different sizes. What was he, shrunk by this Transformer slash Gundam thing? Do Gundams transform? Probably not. Uh, anyway, I haven't seen the show, I just made that up, so, um, was he shrunk by it? Well, this is a Transformers ripoff set, but, like, he's tiny and he's got a helmet that comes off, uh, I don't like taking it off, though, because it's really hard to put back on, and his arms, though, they, like, they come right off, it's like, you didn't even try to do that. Lego figure's arms are supposed to stick really well, so that was a bad design choice, I don't even know why he's so small, was he, like, well, this is, like, a not far from knockoff set. His legs come off. It could be a knockoff set, but I don't think it is this plastic. It doesn't smell bad. It smells good. I don't know if all knockoffs smell bad. Uh, here's a normal figure, which I like way better. His arms sound pretty good. I'm not going to pull them off because I don't want to put them back on. His legs come off. His hat comes off. And I think his head comes off, yeah. And um, he doesn't have a double-sided face or anything. Not surprising. Um, if you saw in the speed build video, I'm not sure if you saw it, but um, I tried to put him in this car, but he just didn't fit. I might be able to... T I need to zoom this. Nope, it's not zoomed out. Uh, it just looks like it. I know that this kind of looks yellow. This looks really yellow. I know, but it's really not yellow in real life. I don't know why the camera's picking this all up. It's like a yellow sort of shade. 
Um, I put Polizei on the stickers on the sides, and it's weird. They don't actually tell you how to do the stickers in the instructions. It's kind of like the character building, like um, Extreme Train slash Trains Extreme. Same guy, two different channels on YouTube. He was talking about how, like, well, in that, like, Determinalizing TARDIS, I haven't seen all his little reviews. I kind of stopped watching him, but in his reviews, I saw that, like, um, the stickers don't show the instructions in the video, so that's weird. Um, it comes with cool binoculars on it, and the wheels, they move, they move, they're kind of rough, though. Like, I'll bring back this guy. His wheels, they move really smoothly, so that's kind of weird. Um, Oh yeah, the helicopter. I should have done this first. I was planning to do this first. And I will build the, tra the uh, not transport, the robot mode of that car after I review this. So it's, um, it's little thing come here, it opens, although it uh, feels like it's going to break every time it opens. Um, it's wings do come off quite easily. I'm not going to show you right now. Um, it's walkie-talkie. And it's uh, propellers do spin. And it doesn't have any, like, anything on the bottom. It just stands like this and it's kind of... Well, when I was building it, the back kind of tilted it back. Okay, now here's something else funny. Okay, you see on the box here how it says police on the sticker? It even says it on the box. But for some reason, the actual set, they say, they call it... Polizei? What? That's weird. Why do they call it Polizei in the actual set? I just realized something. It comes with Polizei and police on the sticker sheet. <laughs> Don't care. Polizei, it is. The German word for police. I just noticed that. Um, I'm going to look at the instructions now. I need to probably pull this back a bit. Here's the instructions. I pulled the camera back a bit. I know, my table's a mess. I am doing this review. Um, it's funny. It's like the character building instructions in another way. They use this gray, they use this gray sort of um, building thing to tell you that you're not using those blocks. Now, Jimmy Hava, I think that's, no, it's not Hava, it's Charles. He was talking about how he didn't like that, and I don't mind a, a, as much as he probably does. But it's funny. They do it just like character building, where they turn it gray when you're not using it. Like, you can sign it and see. Look, look, kind of here. It's gray, but then it's blue. You can't see it really that well, because this is not the best HD camera. But you can kind of get the idea. Okay. Um, now it's time to do the robot mode. So yeah, my camera's got full, and so it took me two sections to build, and uh, so let's look at it. Its right arm here moves um, up and down, and has this little laser thingy-ish on it. I think that's like a laser gun shooting, um, and it has this little dish connected to it, and it has its wheels right there. On its left arm... It, it has, it doesn't have any fingers or hand or whatever, it just has this weird thing at the end. I guess it is cheap. Yeah, it was uh, $9.99 for this whole set, and the helicopter, remember, and the figures and stuff. Um, it has this little, it has this little stickers right here, it's weird, it like has to them separately, like this same piece is used on the car and has that little police logo on it, but then it uses this, so I just put both of them on it. And it has this right here, I'm sorry, it's crooked, I didn't mean to put it on crooked. Um, it has these right here. The reason they say like that is because they were meant to go on the car. Um, and here's the back of its legs. Um, they're not like normal, they're not like the Creo ones where it like shows a bunch of, uh, bottom studs. Well, I'm not sure they still do that on the Creo Transformer sets, but this one doesn't. Um, it has like this part of the car right here, and, um, this part actually moves. So, oh yeah, I just thought about that. If you uh, lift the, if you um, take the hat off of the um, figure, you can actually fit it in here and close it. Well, it can't, wait, I don't think this is on right because, um, because let me, okay, I fixed it. So, um, it was on backwards, it like broke off and I tried to put it back on and I realized I put it on backwards. Um, you can actually have this open and close while the figure is in there. Look, see? And then, can you see him through on the front? Well. I'm not sure if you can see on camera. I can see it a little bit. You can kind of see his head sticking through, which makes it look cool because it makes it look like he's like a driving this thing, like he's driving a robot. I need to zoom out. It makes him look like he's driving a robot. It's like, I am wreaking havoc on you tiny people. I'm huge. Ugh. You'll never defeat me. Bon. You get the idea. Um, here's some faults. 
If you look at the sticker sheet, I know they have a spare of every single sticker. There's at least two of every single one. Well, there's an even amount of every single kind. But the thing is, some of these stickers are not used at all. I don't know why. Like these stickers right here, none of them. Well, at least maybe they are used. I don't know. There's no instructions like the kind of like the character building sets on how to apply the stickers, except in the dematerializing TARDIS. There's none of those instructions except for that set. But this set did not give you instructions on how to put on the stickers, so I just had to go to the box and and put uh, to see where they go. And none of the and the box didn't show any of these stickers uh, applied. So yeah. Another thing is that this head right here is never used. I know it's like you got this head right here, and I guess. You could use a bigger head if you want, but it doesn't really show that head in the instructions. It shows a small head, so I don't know why it has two different sizes. Now I'm actually, I actually like this head better. It's more, it's more menacing. That's a good word uh, than the other head. So I'm gonna keep it on this bigger head. Um, and also, well, this guy. I don't know why he's a different size. He's really delicate. Like, look, look I didn't even try to do that. His arm just pops right off. And it's, I think it goes back on uh, there. So yeah, he's really delicate and, and his helmet doesn't stay on very well. He's just, I don't know why, but they use this figure instead of just a normal figure. And he's tiny, look. And it's hard, and he can't really stand on anything. I tried, it has a little thing, but it just won't stick. So he's sucky. Um, so um, that's a review of this toy. And... Um, Make sure to leave a like. Um, I love likes and I love comments. So please, I love comments on my videos. I don't get enough these days. Still none on my ants video, which I mentioned in that other video, which I just uploaded. At the time of finishing this, I just uploaded the um, one where I did some blend testing. Um, this probably will be uploaded in, um, in the future. But I love comments on my videos. And I've gotten some comments recently, but not as much as I've hoped for. I, you used to get comments much more before the update in 2013. And um, so yeah, and also subscribe. I'd love some subscribers, although I've got qu uh, enough subscribers. And um, leave some requests on uh, stuff to do. Um, I'm not. I'm not definitely going to do them, but uh, you you have a chance that I'm going to do requests. I'm not like I'm not going to mention him. But um, bye for now. Chicken. Chicken. I'm gonna have to screw that. Up. Looking through my stuff that I've been missing for a while. I'm not sure if I showed this. I should have done this before. There, here's this Darth Vader uh, little keychain. Um, like all this, the Lego keychains. Oh, this is, no, it doesn't look like it. Um, I know this is bad focus, but you can kind of see. Um, you, I don't see it on the camera. You might see it when you actually look at it on the video. I'm just looking at the camera screen. It's not like plugged into a TV. But if you might see it. There's actually a little bit of um, gray. Maybe I should zoom in on it, because I think this camera does better when things are farther from it. Well, I can't see it on video. I can see it in person. Okay, I can see it on video right there. You can kind of see there's a little bit of gray on the Darth Vader, actually. Although, I can't check because the head doesn't come off. The head is stuck. Although, you can still take off the hands. And just there. See, the hands, the hands still come off. Although, the head and the legs are stuck. And the arms do not come off. Well, they probably do. I'm, I'm not going to check that right now because they're really hard to put back on. Um... comes with this little thing. I'm probably going to take it off and put it on my mom's keychain. I don't have my own car yet, um, which I don't have a driver's license yet. I still have my permit. But um, if I get my own car keys, I would put the, this on it. I just, mom gave me $15 and I spent like the last, I like, I spent 10 on that duck and she said, you know what, you can just, and I also got like five for lunch or something. And then I just spent a little bit of the lunch money on to get this. I need to point that back 